this video, we're going to take a look at play mode on the Audio 4C. Now, while the Audio 4C for my connectivity is an incredibly versatile interface, it's great for recording, uh, it's super powerful with MIDI, it's also a great interface if you're looking for a way to send multiple outputs from a DAW while on stage. Let's say, hypothetically, you're using tracks on stage in Ableton Live and you need six outputs from your DAW the Audio 4C is a perfect solution. So let's talk about how to configure play mode on the Audio 4C. Now, before I take you over to my computer, I do want to mention that I have my Audio 4C powered up, connected to my computer, and I'm connected to uh, port one on the interface. So you'll notice this interface has two different connections here. It's worth mentioning this is not for redundancy. Uh, it doesn't have the automatic failover features that the Play Audio 12 has, but this does allow me to connect multiple devices, computers, uh, Android, iOS uh, devices, uh, PC, Mac, whatever it is, to this interface and pass audio between them. For the sake of this example, though, I'm just going to set this up as if I had one machine. And again, it's connected to port one. So now over on my computer, I've got Oracle for X series pulled up. This is the free control software for my connectivity. You can uh, click the link in the description of this video to download that software. And we're going to go to the audio tab here. Now, in separate videos, we talk about record and stream mode. But in this video, again, like I mentioned, we're going to deal with play mode. Now, depending on what uh, port on the interface you're connected to depends on whether you're going to choose play USB one or play USB two, because I'm connected. Uh, my computer is connected to port one. We'll do play USB one. Now, by selecting that, what it means is it defaults my outputs um, automatically for me. So what it's going to do is it's going to take uh, outputs one and two are going to be one and two for my DAW. Three and four will be three and four for my DAW. And as you probably guessed and expected, five and six will come out of my headphone output here. So this is, again, uh, while this interface is incredibly powerful, this is just a really great straightforward way to get up and running with tracks on stage. But there's even more to this. So let's go back to Oracle for X series. Now you'll notice on each of these, by default, one and two is up uh, for here, three and four is on three and four and five and six is on headphone mix. But I also have this other fader over here that's existing on each of these. And this is coming from whatever device is connected to port two. So let's say I have a computer that uh, has main stage open and I wanna send outputs one through four from my main computer. And let's go to our headphone mix. And instead of sending outputs five and six from the device that's connected to port one, let's actually send outputs one and two from our second computer. Now, what's cool with this, again, is I can have two machines connected to this interface at the same time, and I can pass audio from both of those into this interface. And again, I don't get the automatic failover that I get with Play Audio 12, but I can still have one keys machine, one tracks machine and send both audio from both of those machines out of this interface at the same time. Now, I, again, I know we're talking about uh, playback, we're talking about outputs in this primary scenario, but I do want to talk about uh, input routing as well in play mode. What, what kind of happens when we go to play mode? So going back to Oracle for X series, again, as a reminder, we have four analog inputs. We talk about setting up your analog inputs in a, in a separate video that's specific to that, but those inputs one through four are gonna show up on um, the device connected to port one uh, as inputs one through four and the device connected to port two as inputs one through four. And then as we mentioned earlier and we talked about earlier, um, on the device that's connected to port one, I'm gonna see output uh, one and two from the second device show up as input five and six on device one. Now on device two, again, I'll see analog inputs one through four, but I'm gonna see output one and two from device one on input five and six. Again, just very simple, select play USB one. It's going to work well in a, uh, a simple playback environment to give you six outputs from any DAW. Um, but pair that with the ability to pass audio between devices, uh, and we can do some really cool, uh, incredible things. And again, another example of how powerful and versatile the Audio 4C is. Now, if you have any questions about something we didn't talk about in this video, maybe how to use this in your particular setup, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity Support. We've included information on how to do that in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.